Ang kwetso. Ang chinong chamre, tala tabo ng pagka, bato, kajamra ka ni tayo tii sa amraka. Lê Thân Nông Rương Sông Sông Phi Sạc Sơn Mùi Cả làm chi Sạm Nạc Cá Lục Đội Phải Rí Lạc Ngài Cá Ảm Phi Sở Thân Ấp Hiếp Vật Thầm Miên Nâng Ảp Vật Thầm Miên Phị Kỳ Nâng Bộ Cô Lô Đại Ông Nhiệm Rê Anh Chư Nhỏ Chô Rùm Đức Nông Cảnh Nhâm Nạc Cá Sạm Nạc Cá Nì Sông Trùm Riếp Lục Phật Thiên Krupp hiệp kỳ tầng o, nơi khăn ông rương kỳ đầy ní, miền vọt tầm miền. Lược lệ anh ta chôn chọp cháu yên xử rí, miền vọt tầm miền, nơi bần tục không khu lún, nơi kháng khá rõm bần tục xạ mạng nạc cả. Chôn chọp cháu yên xử rí, tam rồi dạng mê thư vi rồi bỏ quát, bàn xa nà xông lẹp băng sức, khăn ông ca chô rùm xạ mạng nạc cả đập tốt, xâm rạp rồi dạng bê bình mùi thang ngay, nơi thang ngay ní. Lì khất lẹp băng sức ក្រឡាមជីគាត់សម្គាល់ផងដែរពីវត្តមានរបស់លោកស្រីបេនីជេដែលជាមេធាវីដំណាងដើមនឹងដត់បវនីហើយដែលមិនទាន់ត្រូ
บบนี้องค์ยมเรียบานสดับรบการระบาดลามีสมนาคาบานกอทุมกอลเคยทาเมียนวัตเมียนเมตวีดำนางเมตวีอันตรายเชิดดำนางเอาดาวมดังรอบรอบนี้เมียนวัตเมียนในขนมสาวสามประการนี้เฮยเมตวีรวมรูปมันตอนบานตัวสกอลตามวิทยาในขนมในองค์จมเรียนลอยเฮยเชี่ยวตอนนี้องค์ยมเรียตรีมุ่งเป็นการนิเทวิธีตัวตัวสกอร์เมตวีอันตรายชีวิตดำนางดำนางรอบปีนี้รวมในจิมบุนสันบุญหนึ่งในจับดำนางการนิเทวิธีปิเพศาดังดาวสดับสักไข่กัมในจิมเนียนเดวิดเชตเลอร์ได้อันลองตามวิธีนมาไปปีปีจิมนัดก่อนในวิธีนตีขนมองค์ยมเรียสมอันเจอลูกปิดองค์ชีเมตวีชีวิตในสามเมตวีนามุกดำนางดำนางรอบปีนี้หลังเพื่อการสนับสนุนการตัวตัวสกอร์เมตวีอันตรายชีวิตดำนางดำนางรอบปีนี้ดำเนินวัตถุเมียนในขนมสาธารณการนี่สมจริงวัดสมกรุบลูกเทียนสมลูกกรุบลูกลูกเสียจากกรมองสาธารณการเตียงมูลไงนี่เออในขังช่วยในขังกล่าวไอ้ขยมนี่มีนวัตถุมีนบอลลูกเสียเมตวีบอลเตมวีรูปชมูกเบนิจิตได้จีเมตวีได้มีสัญจิตโอตรีไฮสมาชิกในคณะเมตวีเนออาลมังไฮเบลนี่ลูกเสียดมนั่งดาวบันดังรถเวนีก็โดยเฉพาะคนก็ได้จำนวนการสปรัมเนี่ยจะมวยลูกใส่ซินซิฟอนได้จะมีตัวยิ่งชิดลูกใส่ซิลเกสตูเดนสกีได้จะมีตัวบอลตีไอเกษาตุ่มนางคนก็ได้บานบรรจุนตัวกลาบบัญชีดอกบอลอองจิมจุนเบียร์รวยหายโดยอองกับเพียบกองพิจุนรวมตัวลูกใส่ตัวบานกรมประสาขณะมีตัวยุลพรมอาจจะมีขนมบัญชีเมตวีบอร์เตอร์รูจไฮในทางที่ดับมวยอุสเพียฉน้ำปีปอนปีนังบานทัวร์ประสิทธิ์จำปรับในเทียนในจับปัวโมกสลาวโตรูจไฮในทางที่สามสับอุสเพียฉน้ำปีปอนปีนี้อาศัยฮันนิสุมโลกเทียนเมตตาอันยาตัวตัวสกอลโลกไซเบนิเจได้เชื่อเมตวีอันระเชิดมิ้นสุดเป็นเรื่องยังคงคาดมังคนไกลบอกล้วนในจับปัวโมกอ่องจมุนเดนนิสุมอักุลุกเทียนบ่าอักุลลูกไซเบนิเจอังเบนิยี่อองยมเรียตลอดตะบงตัวสกอร์ลูกไซเจมิตวีอันตรายชีวิตดำนางอัยดามดังรอบรอบนี้สำหรับกลุ่มน้องในดำนาการในเตปิธีในจุดพวกมุกอองยมเรียตลอดตะบงสำหรับถนนเรืองโซนปีนี้อันลองตามการตัวสกอร์นี้ลูกไซมินสุดหมดสุดโดยคะแนนหนึ่งมิตวีชีวิตดำนางดามดังรอบรอบนี้ได้สมกุจอ ông nhầm đây có một lần phát đam đam la ca sùa sắp tới khai cam để chấm nến xong chấm riệp chun sát thiện chun nông phi kỳ ban chỉ điệp phòng đá thà cào lụi phi sắm la ca để ban cùng túc nông khung sáu bát đạt ní chập bị thay chăn thì được bông muối khay cả cả đá khi nằm bị bọt đập pí ông nhầm đây là đập bông anh chơi nẹt chấm nến để viết chặt lỡ đây chỉ nẹt chấm nến ông ta đã chết một đầu tập khai cam để chụp một ông chấm nhầm đây ขนมปิซาลพิบในองค์เฮดสนมเรืองโซนโซนปีถึงมูลแต่องค์ยมเรียตลาดบงเมียนกาสกสดายยังคลั่งจุดปูกาเคาะขันในขนมยาเปียปีทั้งไงกระลองบอกนี้ได้มันอาจับเดิมสัมนากาเติตามกาวิเพียในบางกรุงตุกในขนมกาสดับสักไข่กัมเนี่ยจุดนี้เดวิดเฉลิ่มหรือเชี่ยจุดเรือไปยังเตี้ยสดับสักไข่กัมสะใสนามวยรูปเซนเตี้ยจุดนู้เนี่ยจุดนี้ยุบนี้กาขอกคานนี่คือมวยภายในเจาะเปปปอนแต่นังกาเหมือนมีหลักตะเพียบระบอกเพียกี้สหประยะดอยสหประยะรงอันตรายชิดมือรูปได้แต่ตัวเหมือนตุกกาสู้ในดาวเนจุ่มนี้เดวิดเชลล์เมียนปัญหาสกปรกเพียบอ้อมจุ่มได้หลักตะบงส่งลึกดอยเพียกี้ทั้งอ้อในเรื่องกระไดนิธาเพียกี้เตยแต่ตรีมคลุนกรุบกร้อนนังอ้อยรุ่ยร้อนขนมกาสูดในดาวสะใสเนี่ยจมเนียงหรือดาวมันดังรอบรอบปีนี้ตัวใบสะใสเนี่ยจมเนียงดาวมันดังรอบรอบปีนี้ต่างนุ่มมันทัดในขนมลมดับลมดาวโดยได้บานกับนอตกับดาวกาเพื่อโดยชนะคือมีนตระสมคันนะสำหรับองค์ยมเรศตลาดตุบงเพื่อสมรากาตามกาวิเพียในบานกรุงตุกหนังไอเชี่ยวเวียงบานในรอลกาอาคารเซิงเซิงได้มันจำบัดไฮ
hay tận tâm được đại ông chấm ra và cả nơi sẽ đây xâm ra toàn một từ lưu xâm nào xong cho nguồn phí đại thừa lạng thì mũi cứ xâm nào xong được thừa lạng đời xa bởi nhá hay nên thì phí cứ thừa lạng đời cổng mệt bí cả việc ở đây ôi lục nguồn chìa đời khẳng cổng đi sẽ đây xâm ra toàn một lưu xâm nào xong được bỏ xa bởi nhá hay cứ xa Y mà rồi mà phê bởi mũi Tạm để dạy xong nào xong mà đọc bạc luôn Y mà rồi mà phê bởi mũi Sẽ hạ bởi nhá bàn xong nào xong Đó là ông chú nông dụng rạch xa là tờ bốn Đảm bây đã ai cả xa chung đơn phí Nơi chú bố mục ông chú nông dụng rạch Nâng xong cả này nhá Vì ông dụng rạch đảm bây bà 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 Ai cả xa ní Khăn ông lòng phí Sùa đánh đau xa xây Thì xì đã bởi dù Bà mùi rồi cao sự buồn Nếu khăn ông I meroi saya sepi selah bayi neng I kau sepe mui selah pempel, ong jum dah telok ban bencet, ta kemnot hide sedap jum lay ni ni kal pipil mun dal sa sayur nu neng mok dal sa kay kam jupu mok ong jum dah, aik terbang ban dak nai jupu mok ong jum jum dah, aik ke sa tiang pi dal sa pri nya ban sana som dak nai jupu mok ong jum jum dah ni. Trời ban pra pra đòi dạ cho các đồng sự mong kết Nông ngầm lòng phía nơi ca sư phương sống phía Chỉ môi xa xây Ai cơ xa đem biên lê đi Mở rơi hạ sự buôn cho chú phí Nâng đi mở rơi hạ sự buôn cho chú bấy Cứ chụp hạnh mùi nơi cách sống phía Rồi bọc xa xây Thì xì đã bị dù Rồi môi rơi cao sự buôn Cao phê phê môn Hẹt đôi chân này Ai cơ xa ní Ai đã nơi dù phù mục Ông chú nông dùm rẻ Anh đã lòng tam lẹ cán ạ vinh cháy Nây vị thiên Pai đất sắp đồng phân Anh đủ vị thiên bay Nây vị thiên tây khăn ông Nơi khăn ông xâm nào đoạn đại nhị đáy Thạ bê nhà bàn xa nà xâm Bàn thay em tiết đo lòng dùm rẻ Bằng quốc tơ xa xây Rư ca dạ lây xa chạy kèm sư bằng kết Đã bay phát đo lòng Nây bẹp quán xây tiết nơi ai cơ xa Ông dùm rẻ nâng chanh xa đây Nây nôm tệ tông nâng bánh hà ní Khăn ông Nhi chìa sẽ đây dùm rạch Thu là một lưu xâm nào xông Rồi bỏ đầm đo xa bởi nhá Ai cửa xa y mở rồi mở phê bởi mùi Chìa bản tố này cứ chìa sẽ đây dùm rạch Thu là một bỏ ông dùm rạch Từ lưu xâm nào xông Rồi bỏ Krom mê tử vi Rồi ca biệt cái đây là lục nguồn chí Ai cửa xa y mở rồi chật sập bí Sla mở phê bởi mùi Sla mùi Ông dùm rạch thật là tập bốn Tổ tu xâm nào bị krom mê tử vi Ca biệt cái đây lục nguồn chí Sông Pra Pra Ai Ka Sa Chum Nuno Phai Nơi Chum Pua Mok Ong Chum Nuno Chum Rea Tha La Tha Bốn Đã bay miên ọc ca Pra Pra Ai Ka Sa Ni Khăn Nông Ong Long Pil Su Đình Đao Nẹ Chum Nhiên Đề Vịt Chạch Lờ Thổ Bạp Tam Bị Thiên Pai Tha Sư Phạm Pel Ấn Nụ Bạp Thiên Bay Nâng Ấn Nụ Bạp Thiên Bùn Khăn Nông Côn Bạm Nông Thua Tê Ấm Pì Phiếp Cú Ao Chư Chạ Bán Nây Nẹ Chum Nhiên Như Rụp Nì Nơi khăn ông châm nào mà ai cả xa châm nôn bầy Đã nơi khăn ông ốc bạc xâm bốn Nơi khăn ông bình chi ốc bạc xâm bốn Cứ chi ai cả xa châm nôn Ê đò là xì Đã miên nơi khăn ông xâm nôn rương nốt Miên tay ai cả xa châm nôn Ê bần nốt Đã miên nơi khăn ông bình chi ai cả xa Đã xa nà là ứng đòi phía kì xe hình tiệt Đối chân này ai cả xa châm nôn Ê ní ai trở bàn phá Nơi khăn ông xạm nà cá Nâng mình chạm mạch thật nực Krom xâm nở đại thua là ứng tạm vị thiên Pai thật sự bởi bởi buồn đủ tỷ Ai cơ sạp xây tiết nơi khăn ông bình chí Ốc bạc xâm bọn ní Pi chùm nội đi đo chùm nội thí Mình miên nơi khăn ông tổng nông rương tỷ Còn lòng mơ Ông chùm rẻ ra tạo bốn Bàn cú bình chạy nơi khăn ông án nụ xa ra nạ Đó bạc luôn Ai cơ sạp y mở rơi cao sự bởi buồn Thả Ai cơ sạp nà mùi Đại phía kì miên bỏng nông pra pra nơi chùm bố mốc Ông chú nông dùm rẻ Hơi ai cơ xa nụ Bùm toàn tổ tuổi bàn chùm nạc thân nạc chì ai cơ xa ý bấy Rư mân trực bàn lược lợn Nơi khăn ông bằng chì ai cơ xa nà mùi Đại trực bàn xa nà xông đạc nơi chùm phùm mục Ông chú nông dùm rẻ Trâu bằng bình lạc khăn đầm rơ Nây vị thiên Pai thật sắp đồng phần buồn Nây vị thiên tây khăn ông Ông chùm rẻ bàn bằng chạy Nì bê cờ lông bọc đáy thả Ăn đồ lông tam cô ca Sa đây bì để trở bàn tờ tùl, sqol, lẹ khăn áp bà bà rà mà Xóm rạp ca xóm áng, tờ lưu ai cơ xa mùi 
nơi sạ mana ca đại lai cả sanu um thất nơi chụp phu mộc ông chuẩn bị thời lai rư trạch ban thân ái sôm ở đại nơi chụp phu mộc ông chuẩn bị cứ chia bảy hà bẹ bòn từ nâng pel vị lý nơi cả đại cả sa nơi khăn ông thân ông rướng nâng rư thân ái sôm cả tu yoga cả sa ni đời an đà lòng tam vị thiên ni cua bệnh chết phong đại tha ai cả sa phe chăn đại sanh la ứng đại công bệnh bị cà phê cây nón chi được khăn ông ai cả sa i mà rồi chết tập pi sáu mươi hai bẩm bơm sáu mươi mình miên chia phe sa khăm ai rư phe sa barang ti ông dùng rác cát sông quan khơi thả phe chăn này ai cả sa khăn ông bệnh chi để trở ban sanh la ứng sầm lấp cà su đánh đầu nẹt chum niên để bị chết lờ ní cứ chỉ cà bắp bùm sai đại nị pon la ứng đại nẹt chum niên lụm ní tai mà đong rước nông niệm quất trên nẹp đo bắp sầm phe hơi ai cả xa tiếng ní miên cao rồi chạy chạm tăng bị chăn nằm ở pon một môn ở chân buồn mốc rồi hô đó khai mì ní chăn nằm bị pon đập bì ông chấm rẽ ban cùng pi về lìa đắp ra khay cam sạ xây nẹp chấm niên đập vít chặt lỡ nửa tháng ngày thì mà phải trầm khai u tập phe chăn nằm bị pon đập bì ai cả xa y mà rồi chặt tập bì sờ mà phải buồn đôi chân này sầm na sông đó bọc rong cà phê ở đây, rồi lục nuôn chía, mình ai trực ban bị chà na tha, phơi lăng đòi toàn phê về lý, sọp tam, cà sầm rách ở bọc ăn giấm rách nơi khung an u sanh, y mà rồi cà sư bẩm buồn lời, lớp pin nít tiệt, còn mình tập đi cà phê ở đây nuôn chía, mình ban bẩn dul, rồi ban làm ắt cướp cơn ẩm phi phê về lý na, nâng đai mà siêu bay ở vây, đại khuôn rọc ban ai cả sa tiếng ní. Đại hẹn này hơi, ông dùm rẽ mình ai chơi cao bị phía đăng bàn ông bì cách bằng bài anh không cao tựa bàn ai cả xa tiền đi Thả ta trực bàn phương lạng cao bị đâm nằm bông mốc ở rưu giang nà nụ tì Hẹn được chân này không bởi vì cao bị cái đây nôn chí Mình bàn bằng bình tam đầm rơi ca nây bị thiên Tam ca đầm rơi nây bị thiên bài thật bằng 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 lời Ông dùm rẽ bạc đại xét xâm nà xông rồi bỏ Krom bây giờ bị cáp cái đây lục nôn chi từ lơ cáp ra ra ai cả sa pi chấm nội bi đo chấm nội thì nè chặt tục chi đây chấm rạch chấm lơ ca đó bọn ông chấm rẽ sau đó tập bốn chấm phu sầm na sôm đó bọn krom bây giờ bị cáp cái đây nôn chi ai cả sa y mà rồi chặt tập pi sáu mươi phẩy một sáu mươi mũi cho thay chỉ đọc pi khai cả cả đa chín năm pi bốn đọc pi và chiếc kệ bên to anh nhận ra phục vụ ở một thời gian bao tuần cả anh chơi nhận chấm điểm để bị chật lỡ chơi một cần đi cái này bắt đầu thay cam được không và tụt sạm là cả Good morning, Your Honors. May to be I think I need to register an objection for the record on the, on the ruling that was just delivered. The documents on that list are of obvious relevance to Professor Chandler. No one has objected. And the ông chấm rác miền phía đông cách nông ca bị nứt lòng vĩnh nơi sẽ đầy dầm rác ở bắc luôn thì từ trước nay ông chấm rác mình ạ nền nhà lời nít chỉ đầy dầm rác That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a record for the appeal. You are indeed vested with the power to revisit your own rulings. Any court. Dương mình ạ nền nhà thì đằng xa túc chỉ xuất ở bắc luôn. Lúc thưa bởi đồng xa túc tam vị thiên Tiếng lái đại miễn chánh để khả nông vị thiên Tây khả nông ác nộ vật nơi ổ vô tỏ cò Chia ca xa rạch hời Xong chênh lục mì tử vi gà nà vát Mì tử vi gà nà vát 
Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. And good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. Uh, perhaps if the Nunchia team were provided with the opportunity to make an offer of proof as to uh, the, the shortcomings of their application, uh, and thereby try to cure ແລະຢູ່ເລື່ອງຂອງເມຕະວີກາເປຣີນຸນຊີຕີລູກມັນມີສິດຫມົກຄລຽດໂອກາດໃນການຖືວິໄລກາເປຍປອນໃນປັນ
ហើយសូមសំខាន់ថាខ្ញុំនឹងផ្ដល់ជាមួយដល់អង្គជំនួយ <coughs> 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 ແລະຈຳນິດມັນຖືສົມບັດໃຫ້ໃຫ້ອົງຍົມແດ່ນັ້ນມີສໍາລວມຫມູ່ຈໍານວນແບບປອນນັ້ນເອ່ອລູກ
through the 1990s, particularly on various aspects of uh, Cambodian history. And since the 1990s, I've also written now and then about uh, Cambodian history in article form. <coughs> My interest in Cambodia uh, dates back to 1960 when I was here as a young diplomat of the American Embassy, uh, having already taken Khmer language training. And those two years that I was here uh, basically uh, changed my life in the sense that when I resigned from the Foreign Service, I decided to uh, take up an academic career, and inside that career, I decided to specialize in uh, Cambodian history. To start with, I specialized in pre-colonial history, 19th century history, and then uh, once my thesis was done and so on, I gradually shifted over into a focus on more modern uh, periods of history, particularly after the Khmer uh, uh, came to power. ជាភើទីមួយដែលមានចំណងជើងថាសោតតែកម្មនៃប្រវត្តិសាស្ត្រកម្ពុជាដែលនិយាយអំពីនាយោបាយសង្គ្រាមនិងបដិវត្តតា
Yeah, in the late 80s, uh, 1987, I think, I'm writing it in a parallel with the uh, tragedy of Cambodian history. It was uh, published first in uh, 1992, and then in 1999, uh, 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 I, uh, I prepared a revised edition which uh, covered events up to uh, Pol Pot's death, and also revised and, and improved some of the writing in the earlier parts of the book. Uh, I have not... <coughs> Well, th that's the last edition Nichi, of that book. Uh, uh, many of the uh, facts in Mr. Philip Short's biography, of course, were not available to me at the time, and I'm, a, uh, I'm, a, I'm an admirer of that later biography. Thank <laughs> เลขดีI started work on that book in uh, 1993 uh, in uh, Melbourne when I had access to uh, the microfilm copies of the many of the confessions from S21. I worked on it there in Washington, D.C. in 1994, uh, in Cambodia, 95, 6, and 7, at various points, just at short visits, and also uh, back in the United States in 1998, it was published in 1999. Uh, <coughs> the uh, documentation of that book is uh, almost entirely, uh, the no, put it another way, the Cambodian documents for that book are almost entirely documents that I studied in uh, the uh, DC CAM or at the uh, S21 uh, Museum. The, uh, other materials, secondary materials I studied from various libraries, but the research was done, as I say, in Australia, Cambodia, and the United States. ហើយក្នុងអំឡុងពេលសិក្សាស្រាវជ្រាវដើម្បីសរសេរសិភៅដែលមានចំណងជើងថាសំឡេងពីមិត្តិសម្ភៃមួយដែលលោកបានធ្
Him Hui, who is him who Hui, gave many, many interviews. I've uh, interviewed him. I uh, saw transcripts of interviews with other uh, survivors from the prison, uh, like uh, Bu Meng and uh, I forget the other man's name. Uh, yeah, I mean, I did, and I talked to the uh, photographer uh, named Anne when he came out uh, in 1997 or 8, I forget, uh, 97, I think, interviewed him uh, several times. So yes, I did conduct some interviews, but not as many, by any means, as the amount of interviews I'd conducted for my previous books, which were more uh, historical than analytical. บ่คุณสมนูถ้าตาลูกเอ่อ <coughs> Uh, no, I did not, but I've been very grateful for some of the transcripts of other people's interviews with these, uh, with these figures, which have been useful to me. Uh, so I think I'll just stop here and probably continue ได้มีជំនាញចំពោះចោលឈ្មោះកាំងគេហៅដូចដែលជាប្រធានមន្ត្រីសំភៃ Uh, yes, I did indeed testify at this courtroom in April, I think, no, August uh, 2009, and uh, that book was discussed in detail. <coughs> No, I did not. Uh, Thank you, President. Uh, I join the President in thanking you for returning uh, uh, to uh, provide expert testimony uh, before this uh, chamber, uh, and I want to return briefly to your uh, academic uh, uh, career. Uh, I want to know your primary uh, uh, academic qualifications, the most important ones, please, so that we have them on the record. Okay, I'm, I'm, if, you, uh, if you mean my academic uh, degrees, uh, that I have my bachelor's degree from Harvard College, <coughs> my MA, Master of Arts degree from Yale University, and my PhD from uh, the University of Michigan. I've taught at uh, Monash University, as I've mentioned. I've also taught uh, as a visiting uh, professor at uh, Cornell University, University of Michigan, University of Wisconsin, University of Oregon, and uh, the uh, Johns Hopkins School of Strategic Studies in, uh, in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Uh, Professor Chandler, before I ask you some specific questions, I would like to set out the uh, parameters uh, under which your expert views will be sought today. Uh, the current trial represents only a portion of the complete case file and indictment in relation to the three accused, Nguyen Chia, Yang Sari and Kyo Sampan. Uh, earlier, the trial chamber severed the case into smaller trials, and in this trial, we hear, are hearing evidence in relation to the historical background and, in particular, the formation and development of the Communist Party of Kampuchea before 1975. 
We are, uh, we are examining the administrative structures of the CPK, including an examination of the Central Committee, the Standing Committee, the offices of H7 and their work. The national structures are also a subject for examination. For example, the zones and districts, uh, and of course, the statute of the CPK as it uh, existed during the period 1975 to 1979 will also uh, be the subject of examination. We are also considering the communication structures uh, and practice within the centre, the zones, districts, and externally, and the part that each accused might have played in the communication of orders, policies, and the like. We're looking at the propaganda aspect of communications, including consideration of written material such as revolutionary flag magazines. We're uh, examining the mili military structure and its communication lines. Uh, and also the policies developed for the early stages of the democratic Kampuchean regime and the part that each accused may have played in their development. Finally, in this uh, trial, we're considering the first and second phases of population movements during the regime, uh, which uh, uh, said to have taken place uh, approximately from the beginning of the regime until mid to late 1976. So that's the chronological period uh, 1975 to mid to late uh, and, of course, the parties have been asked to focus primarily on these matters uh, during this trial. Uh, you will be asked many questions uh, by the parties during the course of your examination concerning your books and your uh, scholarly articles. Uh, I want to ask questions about just one of those books today. Because I'm interested in your examination of documents that survived the regime. Uh, so the um, book Pol Pot Plans the Future, to which the President has already referred, uh, and for the record it has uh, a number of E3 numbers, it's E3 stroke 8, E3 stroke 213 and E3 stroke 735. Uh, as you have confirmed, this book was based on eight documents selected, translated and discussed by you and your co-editors uh, and was pu published in 1988. In an introduction or preface to that book, uh, and uh, as I understand it, the preface itself has not been translated into Khmer or English, so I will give for the record only the English ERN, which is 00103998. You suggested in this pre uh, preface that during the period uh, with which this, this trial is concerned, uh, that is 1975-1976, there was, and I quote, a verbal optimism about the prospects of achieving socialism in Kampuchea, but that after that initial period, the party became more pessimistic vindictive and secretive with a greater emphasis on locating its enemies. My first question in relation to that statement is who did the CPK, or the Communist Party of Kampuchea, identify as enemies in, the early state, in these early stages of the regime? 
in the early stages of the regime, the primary enemies that were mentioned by the regime were people who had had anything to do with the preceding Khmer Republic uh, regime or the uh, Khmer Republican army. <coughs> As time went on, this uh, animosity spread out from those specific uh, people who had, had official positions in the government to people who had lived under its uh, aegis in Phnom Penh and other cities, the so-called new people or April 17th people who were evacuated en masse from those towns in uh, April 1975. Uh, and <coughs> often, often became uh, targets of a CPK, um, we'll have to say interest to start with, I guess, to people who were seeming to be uh, uncooperative or seem to have uh, class backgrounds that were antithetical to those favored by the regime or uh, people whose uh, biographies were, as they say, bad. Uh, there was some, some of that going on, but tool slang itself in the perform, we know it did not open until April 1976, and I think from then on you find a widening of the net of uh, enemies to begin to include, as the early stages they did not, begin to include members of the CPK uh, soldiers in the regime's army, uh, and so on. That shift came in mid-76, and I think it's reflected in the uh, growing uh, the documents are set, set out in chronological order in that book, and you have a kind of a growing uh, pessimism in the documents as you uh, go through that year of 1976. Yes, thank you. Uh, just for the record, I've been uh, provided with the Khmer era ERN for the preface or introduction to Pol Pot Plans the Future. It is 0082693 to 00823 to 7004. I'm going to quote another uh, part from that preface or introduction. Uh, you said that the eight documents, and I quote, spring from an important period in the history of the group that generated them, the leaders of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. And you went on to say that the period during which these documents were written, these eight documents were written, March 1976 to May 1977, marked the high point of the CPK's efforts to control and transform Kampuchea. More than 20 years have elapsed since the publication of the book Pol Pot Plans the Future, and you have continued with your research. So what I want to know is whether you still hold to these same general views as you expressed them in the preface or if there are any uh, amendments you would wish to make. I think the, I don't <coughs> I've just been reviewing that book myself back, back in the hotel and I missed that sentence but I certainly um, would revise it slightly to say that the high tide of optimism and the uh, Khmer Rouge regime did not extend uh, to the uh, last, the date of the last document, which is the Hunim Confession of 1977, because by the time you get into mid-1977, you have full-blown uh, purges passing through the uh, banks of the CPK and uh, <coughs> hundreds and thousands of prisoners passing through the doors of uh, S21. So I think you have to say there's a, there's a, I, I would now have changed that sentence to say from 75 to mid-76 with the final document uh, coming from a uh, period of uh, greater uh, uncertainty on part of the regime and greater violence, uh, greater mistrust, and uh, greater pessimism. Thank you. Uh, now, may I assume that you have examined many more documents uh, from the archives uh, uh, 
that arose during the democratic Kampuchea regime than the eight that you selected for this book? Yes, I, I've examined all of the, the 15 uh, CPK documents that formed a, a <coughs> sort of a group of texts that had been assembled uh, both by, first by Kiernan and then the second tranche of them by me. Uh, I've examined all those. The other uh, texts were of, I think, less interest than the ones that were covered in that book. But uh, yes, I certainly read, read the other documents that came from those, uh, those standing committee meeting minutes, which is what that group of documents was uh, basically concerned with. More broadly than the documents you examined for the writing of Pol Pot Plans the Future, have you examined all so minutes of the standing and central committees? Yes, insofar as those are available, a very, very few uh, <coughs> sessions of those bodies are available uh, in Cambodia at the moment. This may be asking you to um, uh, complete an exercise uh, of the feat of memory, but are you able to identify uh, any of the um, authors of the eight documents that you specifically examined for Pol Pot Plans the Future? Uh, I assumed uh, that some of the documents, uh, none, of, none of the documents except for Hunim's confession, of course, is signed by a single author. Uh, the documents emanate from uh, meetings where a leading figure is called, gives the uh, uh, speech, which I assigned the chapter that I did. I <coughs> assigned this to uh, Pol Pot. There's no direct evidence that it was he, but it was either Pol Pot or I suggest Nguyen Chia didn't say it at the time. One of the very top figures was only the very top people were authorized to give this kind of a speech, the December 76 speech. Uh, otherwise, uh, I was making guesses as to the authors of the documents. The standing committee documents are not, are not signed, they're not authored, they're minutes of discussions, of course. So, uh, a, each one of the documents is a little bit, a little bit different, and uh, the speeches are unsigned, the meetings are unsigned, the uh, confession, of course, is up by the person, so authorship is a little ambiguous to discuss. Thank you. Uh, the first of the documents that you focused on in Pol Pot Plans the Future is the decisions of the Central Committee on a variety of matters dated 30 March 1976, uh, and its uh, number ERN is E3-12. Uh, that's the uh, Oh, oh, sorry, that's the document number, and the English ERN is 0018280928142814, my 00003136231430, and French 00224363242. Now, uh, obviously, you are quite familiar with this uh, particular document. Are you able, from your research, to uh, say whether or not, at the time uh, that the minutes were produced, uh, it was circulated widely among the people of Cambodia, or was it more closely held than that? Uh, it was certainly not uh, not distributed widely. No, no Cambodian communist documents in the Khmer Rouge period were distributed widely. Uh, the, party they were, uh, the minutes of the standing committee were, I think, limited to, I forget the exact number of copies, I think it's even listed on the bottom of some of them, but it was certainly all the members of the standing committee and then uh, sometimes extra copies were sent to other people. Uh, something was saved for the archives. The archives, of course, of these uh, documents has disappeared. Uh, I would, uh, they're typed uh, documents that are done with mimeograph. Uh, I would say they didn't have photocopiers in those days. So I would say probably 
had on it, good, ten or fifteen copies of these uh, minutes for all, that were, all that were prepared at the time. Uh, it doesn't say at the bottom how many were prepared, but it was very, very uh, closely held. These documents were very closely held. And, and, and very uh, closely archived. The archives where they were kept are just not accessible. Uh, and uh, in answering that question, you mentioned that uh, the archives had been destroyed. Uh, where did you, how did you, uh, how are you able to make such an assertion? Said today the archives have been destroyed. I said they're just not accessible, they're not available, they're not. They may still exist somewhere, but I can't guess where that. I mean, I can guess where that would be. That wouldn't be helpful. It'd just be a guess entirely. Uh, I don't think there's any evidence that they're known to have been preserved someplace and be not accessible to us. They disappeared. Now they could have been destroyed. They could whatever. So they say there'd be of these minutes there'd be ten copies, and the ones that which is the ones that survived were those of, of one of the people at the meeting. So the other ten, nine copies have disappeared. The archival copies disappeared. So we don't. I didn't want to say destroyed, although that's a possibility. I have no evidence that it was destroyed. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, where and how did you first see a copy of this 30th of March? Um, uh, record of the decisions of the Central Committee. I guess it must have been in uh, 83 or 82. It, I'm trying to remember when Ben Kieran was given those some of those documents. I, I'm not sure I have the date right. I know that it was uh, before 1990, it must have been like 84, 5, something like that. Before, it, was, it was the possession of these documents, the fact that spurred us both to put this book together. We felt this would make an interesting book if these documents would be published. So I would guess it was 84 5 I so for he first showed me the copy that he had, and uh, that's what got us started. Uh, do you have any doubts about uh, its um, authenticity as a document, uh, recording, as it says, decisions made by the Central Committee? No, I have no doubts as to uh, authenticity. I don't know where those doubts, how they could be, or how they could arise, or how they could be settled. In case one could say these are documents that are forged. To the evidence, I don't know where that would come from. The documents that are not forged, I don't know where that would come from. So my, my guess is that, uh, my conclusion, rather, is that these are authentic documents that survived more or less by chance. Uh, they were uh, discovered in, um, by the person who gave them to uh, some to Ben and some to me in a house in 1979, according to his testimony. Uh, half of them passed over in 84, another set in 1990. So there's a pretty good chain of, uh, of evidence there, for, from my point of view, I think, for authenticity. What significance do you place on that particular record of um, uh, decisions of the Central Committee uh, as a means of understanding CPK ideology or policy at that period? Uh, refresh my memory exactly on, on that one. Is there, is there any way of putting this document on, on my TV? Because if there is, I could I could look at what you're, what you're saying there. I know we, we, we considered this leading the book off with this document as an exciting way to start the book. I, just, I need refreshment to, to say exactly what we said about these decisions that were made in the meeting. So is it possible to... Uh, Put the, 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 all this needs is the introduction to the document, not to the document. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mr. Abdul Haq, you have the document. Your Honours, we're in a position to display it. Thank you. Thank uh, you.
Your Honours, we're just waiting for the AV unit doc the documents to prepare. Look, Tien Yung Kampung Jai Rong Cham Kang Sao Tu Dham Bay Thua Ka Bong Hai Dham Lu Ai Kisna Ni. Bong Lek Nai Sao Tu Bong Hai Ai Kisna Ni Lu Ai Krong Tu Du Tu Hai Nang Pim Nui Ka Kang Sa Pri Nya Som Bong Hai Ai Kisna Ni Lu Ai Krong Computer I'm, I'm prepared to say something about this now. Um, I think uh, it comes back to you know, the, the very first line of this document, uh, the, under heading 1, uh, reads the right to smash inside and outside the ranks. Uh, smash uh, uh, in uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, period was usually synonymous with uh, the word to kill. And in, inside and outside the ranks would refer to inside and outside the ranks of the CPK. So the force of this document is to lay out uh, lines of authority and responsibility uh, in which uh, enemies, unmentioned in the in the in the first sentence there, but obvious to the, the, that's what's missing: the right to smash enemies inside and outside the ranks, uh, that this is, the, in a way, a kind of an, a national um, uh, authorization, if you like, for uh, zone and uh, sector people to proceed as they see fit along the lines laid down by the CPK that had to do with the uh, strengthening of socialist democracy and so forth. And sort of set up the the uh, standing committee, set up, military, so set up the machinery through which, by which this could be this could be accomplished. Thank you. Uh, the same um, document requires weekly reporting to the 870 the party centre. Uh, it also refers to the plan to produce three tons of rice per hectare. Uh, plans the appointment of a standing committee of about 10 people uh, and an assembly presided over by Nguyen Chia. It fixes the date of the birth of the CPK at 1960 instead of 1951, decrees that the Christ Christian cathedral is to be demolished and refers to the planning for state organizations and elections. Uh, in your research, have you been able to establish uh, whether uh, these um, policies were pursued uh, during the period with which we are concerned uh, down to the middle or end of 1976. Uh, yes. Uh, the, um, I think this document, now that I've revisited it on the screen and, and from your uh, summary, uh, Your Honor, uh, is basically one that 
could be entitled, given the title of the book, Pol Pot Plans the Future, except, of course, it's not just Pol Pot. It's the central governing group of people in the country. It was a collective leadership in the country, so the title may be a bit catchy, but you couldn't sell a book called The Collective Leadership of Cambodia Plans the Future, but that's what it was. This is the plan that they laid down for the future, including major items of three tons per hectare. Uh, oddly enough, a major item was the destruction of the, of the uh, Catholic cathedral. Uh, I mean, it seems to be odd to have it so high in the list of priorities. But uh, <coughs> the other, the other uh, policies were carried out. Uh, I've gathered from the uh, closing order, which I've been reading, uh, that uh, some of these weekly reports are now uh, become available or are, are, are coming in to the, to the Central Committee. Uh, I had never seen any of those in the period of my research, so that the, uh, the idea that these reports should come in they have, in fact, to, to an extent, come in, and they are referred to here and there in the, in the closing order. So <coughs> this, I think, was the, if you, if you like, a kind of a master plan for the country coming forward. A little bit coming into the open also. This is the period of the, after the Constitution, uh, setting up a National Assembly, uh, uh, and so on, setting up a government that would be uh, visible to an extent uh, to the outside world, which had not been at all beforehand. So it's a whole sort of a, a, uh, uh, yeah, a, a, a blueprint for the way the uh, country was to proceed from that point on, from April or the end of March 1976. Thank you. Uh, from your research, are you able to tell uh, the court if any of the three accused were then members of the Central Committee uh, when this record was uh, completed? Again, I, 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 I've just been reading this again in the last couple of days. I'm certain that uh, Nguyen Chia and Ying Suri were members of the Central Committee. I'm not sure whether uh, Kyu Saban at this stage was in the Central Committee or not. But I'm certainly sure that the first two of the accused were on the Central Committee at this time. Thank you. The uh, document also states that the government is to be a pure party organization. Uh, is this how the government operated in practice, uh, namely with no distinction made between the governing of the country and the political party in power? Uh, yes, I, I think there, there was really to be no, no, no genuine distinction. The uh, secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party was also simultaneously uh, and all the time the prime minister of the country, so there's no distinction there. There were no uh, uh, balancing elements uh, to the two-party rule that were independent of it. It was, I mean, they described it uh, truthfully, I think, as a government uh, by and for a ruling party. Uh, as well as, uh, well as uh, setting up days for commemorating historical events, uh, the document uh, decisions of the Central Committee on a variety of questions also uh, provides for the establishment of um, various uh, organizations such as the Assembly, uh, and uh, is it correct that it notes that the President of the Assembly uh, is to be Nguyen Chia, uh, the uh, President of the State Presidium is to be Kyu Sam Pan, uh, and uh, Yeng Sari is to be Deputy Prime Minister in charge of foreign affairs. Is that all correct?
Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, th those positions uh, were positions uh, assumed by those people at that at that time, and they have never been denied by them either. So these are true, true statements. <coughs> Thank you. And from your research, uh, did they take up these positions and conduct the work in connection with them, uh, more or less, to the end of the? Uh, regime of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. I should correct myself there, more or less to the end of the rule of uh, democratic Kampuchea in 1979. Uh, yes, I'm not at all sure what the state presidium ever accomplished. I'm not uh, aware of documents emanating from that. The assembly met once in the, uh, during the regime for three days to approve uh, the setting up of the democratic Kampuchean government. Now, uh, Yang Suri, of course, remained uh, of those three named uh, positions there, remained active in the, uh, in the uh, implementation and uh, policy making of uh, Cambodian foreign affairs throughout the, uh, the regime and for a brief period after the uh, after its fall in 1979. So his position was public and busy uh, and uh, well known to the outside world. Excuse uh, Bond's work in the Presidium is unclear to me to this day, and the work of Moon Chia with the Assembly, as far as I know, that without ever reconvening the Assembly. Uh, was not a major part of his uh, work uh, during the uh, DK regime. I'd like to move now to the statute, which has the document number E3-130. Uh, and can I assume that you are familiar with the statute, or, although you'll probably want to refresh your memory uh, to some degree? Can I assume you've uh, in the past studied the statute? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, at Articles 27 and 28, the statute says all three categories of the Revolutionary, uh, revolutionary Army of Kampuchea must be under the absolute leader, leadership monopoly of the CPK, and the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea is organized according to democratic centralism. The party central committee designates the implementation of democratic centralism according to the specific situation. That's the end of the quote. My question is, did the Communist Party of Kampuchea, through the Central Committee, in fact control the activities of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, as is set out in the articles I have just referred to? Uh, yes, to the best of my knowledge, there obviously would be uh, <coughs> moments and activities that went on off the board, as it were, but I don't think any major activities of the uh, uh, Revolutionary Army were outside the purview of the party or were unknown to the party. <coughs> in, an, in, in his initial interview with the uh, co-investigating judges, Nguyen Chia said, uh, and the document reference is E3-54, quote, As for myself after the liberation, I was in the legislative body, so I was not involved with the executive. Besides the party, there was a military committee of the party whose chairman was Pol Pot with Son Sen and Ta Mok as deputies and Sa Pim and K Pok as members. So I was not in the military committee. I was deputy secretary of the party and president of the assembly. Besides that, I was in charge of educating cadre and party members. So I was not involved in anything relating to these charges. 
At that time, the military were the strongest group because they were the ones who defeated Long Nok. As for the politicians, they were not strong. They received less esteem. That's the end of the quote from that initial interview. Based on your research, do you agree that Nguyen Chia's position was a lower one or less powerful than the military commission members? Uh, I find that hard to believe. Did his specific responsibilities mean that he had less knowledge of or influence on the whole of the activities of the CPK, including the military, uh, than, say, Pol Pot, the, um, the uh, leader of the CPK during that period? Did he have less knowledge or influence than, for example, Pol Pot? I think he deferred uh, to Pol Pot as the uh, secretary. Certainly, uh, 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 Pol Pot had the final word uh, most of the time in these uh, decisions, collective decisions. But <coughs> from my work and also from material I've been reading just very recently, and th things and materials come out of the closing order, it seems that uh, he was uh, very much on top of and along and, and, uh, and engaged in day-to-day -day policy uh, matters on all parts of the Cambodian uh, uh, enterprise, including, including uh, military affairs, including uh, uh, even sometimes foreign affairs, other things. He was more or less, uh, if you want to take a, a, a capitalist uh, uh, equivalent is a parallel to calling uh, Pol Pot the uh, president and Nguyen Chia the CEO of uh, Cambodia. I think this is the kind of responsibilities that he had, but this is just a, a sort of speculation. I think it's certainly in his interest to diminish the range of his activities uh, that have been recorded in other sources, but uh, I don't think, I think the evidence is overwhelming that he was extremely active in many, many spheres of the regime. Uh, was, uh, from your research, are you able to say whether all major policy passed through the central or standing committees? Uh, I can't. Go to claim my own research. I should note here that I haven't uh, done any primary research on uh, DK since the late 1990s, but evidence that's come up since then suggests very much a positive answer to your question. Did membership of the Central Committee or the Standing Committee provide an overview of the entire scope of CPK activities? I think that's what that, I think that was its uh, raison d'etre. I think this was, it was a supervisory and uh, policy, uh, policy forming uh, body. I think they we're hoping to uh, be able to uh, conduct a certain amount of surveillance on the entire country. I think uh, this was an impossible uh, task given the range of problems, communications, and so on, but this is certainly what they hoped to do and, and uh, were authorized by themselves to do to govern the country. Uh, I've been struggling a little bit with the uh, precise meaning of the term democratic centralism, but is the way that the um, uh, central and standing committees operated, as you have described, uh, the uh, way in which democratic centralism uh, played out in practice? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, now, um, I think 
uh, I ask, uh, can you confirm whether or not the three accused were members of the Central and Standing Committees? I think you've more or less answered that at an earlier stage with the, a reservation concerning when Khe Sampan uh, became a member. I mean, the documentation is, is in my hotel, but, I, 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 but I'm not, so I'm not want to say without consulting that, that uh, the case of Bond, certainly the other two men were on the same committee. And can you help me with explaining the relationship between the Central Committee and the Standing Committee? Uh, their, um, uh, their status, their uh, interrelationship, uh, and in brief, the work that was assigned to each of those committees. I have to say that's something I've never uh, studied in detail, so I'd rather not make uh, uh, statements. There's a lot of overlap between these two, two bodies, uh, but I'm, how they were differentiated is not something I've, I've prepared an answer for today, or, or we could come back to that if you like, but I, I'm not ready to give a substantive answer on that. Yes, thank you. Uh, before I move to my next uh, topic, I just want to record the uh, ERN numbers. Um, uh, for uh, uh, the quote that I uh, gave uh, from uh, Noon Chia's uh, initial uh, interview uh, with uh, the uh, uh, co-investigating judges, the Khmer ERN is 0148742-744, the English is 0014817, and the French 0014820 uh, it's to zero zero one four eight nine two one. Now, President, I'm about to move to a slightly different topic. Do you wish to take the uh, morning adjournment mark? เอ่อទៅសម្រាប់ហើយអង្គការសម្រាប់មកភ័យនាទីចាប់ពីពេលនេះទៅទៅរហូតដល់ម៉ោង 11 ខ្វះ